Chapter 37 The following are the books of Kayu, to wit. Of the Creator, the Great Spirit, Eolan, and His Creation. Of the plan of corporeal worlds, the sun, and earth and moon and stars, and their sizes and motions, and their power, to hold themselves in their places, by the velocity of rotation. Of light and heat and thunder and lightning. Of the unseen worlds, the upper and lower heavens, the habitations of the gods. Of the intermediate world, or lower heaven, which resteth on the earth. Of Te, that is, true God, who hath charge of this world, and her heavens. Of false gods, and their kingdoms in the lower heavens, and their power, to catch the souls of men after death. Of hell, where the spirits of bad men are tortured for a long season. Of the highest heavens, the Orion worlds, where the spirits of good mortals dwell in everlasting bliss. Of the administration of gods and truges over mortals, how nations are built up, or destroyed by the gods. And these ten were such, as in after years were recorded, as the books of great learning and were made by the Sun Emperor the standard of the empire. The following books of Kayu were such as were called the lesser scholarships, to wit. Axioms, being the symbols of problems. The perfect man, Te, or highest representative. The mean man. Purification, to purify the flesh, and to purify the spirit, or soul. Divination, consultation of spirits, ledger domain. Sarges, Suez, power of the spirits to give man dreams and visions. Maxims, propriety, sincerity, rites, and ceremonies, reverence to age, respect to the dead. Love, to love the great spirit, to love the parents, to love discipline and industry, marriage, marriage for earthly sake being wicked, marriage for spiritual redemption of the world by generations of holier men and women. Book of Histories, of Gods and Saviors, of Kings and Emperors, of Wise Men, of Lawgivers, of the Rise and Fall of Nations. Book of Holies, in six parts, Omnipotence, Worship, Geovies, Eolans, Judgments, Progression, Reverence, to the Priests, and Obedience, to the Sacred Commandment. Book of Gems, also in six parts, Proverbs, Poetry, Mourning and evening devotion, association, in the family, the community, the state, and the empire, confession of sins, and praise and rejoicing in Eolan, the great spirit. Such were the twenty books of Caillou, which were the pith and cream of the eighteen thousand books of the ancients, together with all the light of the latter days added thereto. And in not many years, these also became the standard books of the Kenya empire. And the council of Senne came to a close, and the disciples of Kayu departed to their respective provinces, taking copies of the books with them. God had said to his inspiring angels, Suffer not Kayu, to know he receiveth light from heaven, for he shall be, as an example to men, to inspire them to perfect the talents created with all. And it was so, and during all these years of labor, Kayu knew not that he was inspired. And God looked upon the empire of Kenya, and he said, Behold, my son shall write other books, but less profound. And God inspired Caillou to write. A book of family sayings. A book of analects. A book on government. A book on life. A book on punishment. And a book of inventions. And these were all the books Caillou wrote. Nevertheless, his fame became so great that many men followed him about, even when he traveled into distant provinces, and they watched for the words he spake, and they wrote them down, and these were also made into books. Because of the presence of God, and his angels, Caillou saw clearly, and heard clearly, nevertheless, his inspiration was God by proxy, and not like the inspiration of Chine, to whom God came in person, dwelling with him wherein, on many occasions, Caillou did things of his own accord, and committed some blunders. End of the History of Caillou